Welcome to Actionable Intelligence. I'm Eric Greitens. I'm honored to be with you tonight. And as you know, this is the show that respects your intelligence. We honor you as a citizen and we bring you the insights, information, and perspectives that the mainstream media so often ignore. Well, tonight, Tom Fitton, the president of Judicial Watch, joins the program. Tom has taken on some of Washington's most powerful agencies, and he's won. He's the author of a new book, A Republic Under Assault, The Left's Ongoing Attack on American Freedom. He joins us now. Tom, great to see you. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. So, Tom, first, Judicial Watch has a new update out. You guys just got this up over the weekend titled Election Crisis Update, Dead People Voting in Georgia, DOJ AWOL on Voter Fraud, Durham Fail. Please tell our viewers about what you guys have found. Boy, a lot going on there. Well, the president's legal team has filed what is, in effect, a civil rights lawsuit in Georgia over illicit voting. And they have evidence that there uh, may be as many as 10,000 plus dead people voting in Georgia and uh, hundreds of thousands of other votes properly counted, uh, both because of the, the way Georgia ran its elections and B, there were people like the dead people who shouldn't have been voting because it was just legal to vote. And obviously that's more than enough to change the um, uh, current results, and I use results in quotation marks, right. of the Georgia election. Yeah, and Tom, for uh, first, uh, can you let our viewers know, if they want to get to your stories directly at Judicial Watch, let them know uh, exactly where to go. Oh, we're online at judicialwatch.org, judicialwatch.org, and of course we're on Twitter and Facebook, and, and I'm on Twitter and Facebook as well. Beautiful. So it, it's easy to find... Um, what we're talking about here tonight. Good, and let's let's get uh, your your comments also, please. The mainstream media has just been in a rush to blow past all of this evidence of election fraud. You know, we've covered um, on this program, we've had literally hundreds of people co come out signing sworn affidavits. It's literally the definition of evidence, and yet the mainstream media wants to pretend uh, that it's not there. From your perspective, what's happening in terms of the mainstream media's coverage of these election irregularities? Well, the media is mostly left and it's mostly Democrat. So they have a partisan ideological interest in seeing Trump leave the presidency and Joe Biden come in. And a part of that interest has been to minimize concerns about voter fraud, mm -hmm. ignore it, uh, pretend it doesn't exist, uh, or in many cases, uh, uh, attack the very uh, fundamental security measures we need uh, to conduct free and fair elections. They oppose voter ID. They oppose the idea of cleaning up election rolls. I'm talking not only about the media, but the left generally. Mm -hmm. uh, they were pushing this crazed ballot harvesting. And uh, more, most recently and most uh, destructively, the tsunami of mail-in ballots that yeah. were now uh, now having to contend with is because essentially they ruined our elections in the sense that uh, we had no um, legitimate way of assuring voters that they would be counted honest, honestly or that their uh, uh, where they came from could be uh, assured in terms of the legality of it. You bet. And Tom, you guys also have a story up about Obama's DHS scanning the Georgia election site in, in 2016. You guys filed a number of FOIA requests. You got some key documents. Tell, tell our viewers, please, what, to, what you found there. Yeah, back then, the, uh, the governor of Georgia was then Secretary of State, Mr. Kemp, and he sent a, a letter to DHS uh, detailing that there had been a breach of his system, his uh, Secretary of State's website, at least three times, if I recall correctly. And uh, we have the underlying documents at the Obama DHS, and uh, they were looking at his website. Now, they all say it was innocent. The DHS IG says it was innocent. Uh, but uh, it's clear they were probing not only um, 
Georgia's website, but the websites of other states. And what's really interesting about the documents, mm -hmm. uh, the computer logs that could tell us who was there and what was going on in a more detailed way were overwritten. And uh, DHS in the emails makes it clear they wanted to disguise the fact that they had overwritten it. So there was something going on here. And um, so I guess we're not allowed to ask about uh, security questions about computers, computer elections, unless, of course, it's the Obama gang that's probing the issue. Right. And Tom, you know, everybody's focused on on Georgia at the moment, not only because of the, the Senate races, but also like this, the continuing investigation of what happened during the presidential election. Uh, what do you and your team make of the video that's come out where you had officials actually clear the room, send election observers and the press out? And it appears that they continued to count ballots uh, through the night. What's your what's your analysis of what we're seeing there? Oh, I'd have the FBI investigate it mm -hmm. or, or legitimate law enforcement agency of some type. I think that's evidence of fraud. It's it's readily apparent uh, what was going on. You can you can watch the video yourselves. Uh, the uh, the anonymous um, uh, defense of the activity by Georgia election officials is troubling. Uh, it's at odds with what we know to have happened and what mm -hmm. we see there on the video. Uh, so, I, you know, I'm worried about the January elections for Senate in Georgia, mm -hmm. that the same system that was maladministered, to put it charitably, yeah. uh, for the November election, will just have a repeat of the same in January. Yeah, I think there are a lot of people who are who are concerned about that. I also think that at the moment, people's confidence in American elections anywhere has been greatly, greatly undermined by what we've seen uh, just just happened a couple weeks ago in, in November. Now, Tom, you know, the, the election isn't the only thing uh, that your team has been investigating. You guys have also been very strong for a while now on the Russia collusion narrative, on the genesis of it. Uh, you covered the failed attempt to prosecute General Flynn, and I understand that now you're you're in a legal battle with Hillary Clinton, uh, where you know the former secretary is fighting to avoid a sworn uh, deposition. What can what can you tell us about that? Yeah, unfortunately, she's been successful with, um, frankly, leftist judges who who have been protecting her, mm -hmm. uh, and the Justice Department's been virtually of no help. They've not, right right now are actively trying to protect her. Uh, we plan to go to the Supreme Court to um, uh, be able to question her about uh, her her emails and, mm -hmm. her, and her practices. A federal court judge thought it was important, given what happened, that she have to answer some questions right. beyond type it, beyond writing uh, answering something in writing under oath, which you know obviously is not the same as being questioned in person under oath. And uh, this desperate effort to avoid testimony i mean we expect that from hillary clinton mm -hmm. what's really outrageous and frustrating is that the justice department is in the meantime trying to shut it all down yeah so uh we're not only fighting hillary clinton but um Barr's justice department and pompeo state department which is the agency that covered all this up and let, let's talk a little bit about that, about um, Attorney General Barr's uh, Justice Department, because one of the things that we are hearing from our viewers every single day is that they're wondering, where is the FBI? Where is the DOJ in terms of the investigation of these election irregularities? We heard a big outcry, you know, again, people asking that they, they wanted somebody to investigate what appeared to be happening in that video in Georgia. You had Jesse Jacob in Michigan testifying that, uh, again, sworn affidavit, a uh, longtime government employee saying that she was ordered to backdate ballots. People are wondering, where is the DOJ? Where is the FBI in all of this? What are, you, what are your thoughts on that? Well, the Justice Department, um, you know, bar aside, uh, it's largely run, like the media, by ideological leftists who are Democrats, mm. and they don't want to investigate this. I mean, if, if Barr's going to investigate it, he's going to have to go out to Wisconsin, Georgia himself, practically speaking. Mm -hmm. uh, this is uh, it, the most charitable interpretation is it's fear-based decision-making among the department and personnel uh, they don't want to do this. I mean, you were in government. They don't yeah. want to do the tough work that the American people expect them to do. The judges aren't doing it. The DOJ isn't doing it. 
the FBI has long been part of the problem. Uh, and uh, this is why the president's been forced to go to court himself uh, and, and, and taking this approach of uh, the constitutional option, as I call it, by pushing for uh, the state legislatures and ultimately Congress to step in. Yeah, Lowell, we, we can certainly attest here uh, there's a tremendous amount of, of frustration. People want to see the DOJ and the FBI uh, taking action. Tom, before we go, if you could uh, tell everybody a little bit about the new book, uh, A Republic Under Assault. Well, I tell you, we're seeing evidence of it to this day, right now with the attack on our elections. Uh, we had the presidency under assault with the coup impeachment. We have the attack on our sovereignty with the effort to open borders and with the border crisis last year, uh, and, and just generally the attack on the rule of law with the Clinton gang and, and the typical corruption here in Washington, D.C. You know, and our republic depends on the rule of law. It depends on the Constitution to function. And we got um, a group of people here in Washington and an ideological movement uh, that hate the Constitution and love power, and they will destroy anything and anyone to get it and keep it. Well, we know you've been fighting the fight for, for a long time, Tom. We very much appreciate you making the time uh, to join us and our viewers tonight. Uh, folks, again, that, that's Tom Fitton, the president of Judicial Watch. He's got a great new book out, A Republic Under Assault, The Left's Ongoing Attack on American Freedom. You can check it out online, and you can also follow some of those stories at judicialwatch.org. Stay right with us. We're going to have more about the election, the future of the GOP, and we'll be joined by Ned Ryan in just a minute. Stay with us.